And welcome to another edition of Inside Track with HP Autonomy. I'm Jordan Iserson, and I'm joined by Jeff Vesey, Vice President of Solutions Marketing. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Uh, a big day for HP Autonomy with the announcement of IDLE 10.6. IDLE 10.5 really focused on, on deeper integration with the other Haven components. Can you give us a little background on, on what's inside 10.6? Well, you're right. With with 10.5, we really focused on our big data uh, push, and uh, Haven, of course, is the the platform for that. So, integrated with Hadoop, with Vertica, a number of investments there. With 10.6, we focused on some enhancements around the manageability and performance and reliability of the Idle platform. Uh, a couple key features are, first of all, built-in eduction redaction, which is it's a mouthful to say, but it it's key that you can identify sensitive information, for example, social security numbers or, or birth dates um, or maybe sensitive addresses, and you can actually make sure that information is identified and then redacted so you can protect the privacy of some key information when you're doing searches. And, and given the focus on privacy and the appropriate sharing information uh, worldwide, that's, that's a key feature to be able to have. Now we can do it automatically, and, and that's a, a big breakthrough. Uh, another one uh, from a uh, global standpoint and, and a real-time standpoint is automatic time zone conversion. So, for example, let's say you're, you're trying to look at breaking t trends and you want to be able to make sure no matter what time zone you're in, you're converting back to a common view, kind of see what happened on one day. You, for example, could do automatic time conversion to the Pacific Coast or to London time and make sure that everything is represented in the same from the same time zone perspective. In a 24 by 7 news breaking world, that, that's essential. Without that, you have to do that all manually, and, and that can really be a, a huge, huge uh, obstacle uh, to doing things that are looking at real time. Uh, a third one uh, is dynamic field configuration, and, and this, is, this is really a good example for the kind of innovation we're doing. Uh, often you want to be able to change fields that you're analyzing, uh, be able to add them, delete them, alter them. Before when you made any of these changes, like with a lot of data of intensive applications, you'd have to reboot and restart the application. Now you can do it dynamically. You can actually add and take away fields that you might be searching on or processing against. And uh, th this ability to do this dynamically is, is a big breakthrough. Okay, great. Is there anything for the, the international community here in IDLE 10.6? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked that. And uh, in fact, a number of enhancements were done, of course, around language. And, and one that's worth spotlighting just in time for the World's Cup is you know, something that's wonderful, or in Portuguese, I believe it is maravilhoso. Um, I probably butchered that, but uh, that's Portuguese for, for wonderful. And we have added Portuguese sentiment analysis. Uh, there's going to be a lot of focus on the World Cup and, of course, the Olympics. And, of course, uh, Portuguese is, is a major language around the world. And uh, we've added sentiment analysis support for that language in addition to a few other uh, language enhancements. So, uh, uh, you know, IDLE is a global product from, uh, from pole to pole. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to get through the, the streets of Brazil just fine with that, uh, with that Portuguese. Awesome. Well, finally, uh, Idle, Idle Site Admin was announced. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and why it's such a big deal? Well, the administration of Idle is uh, something that we <coughs> excuse me, really wanted to focus on. Uh, what this allows you to do is from, we didn't have this before, from a single administrator's uh, console, a single pane of glass per se, the ability to look at every idle component, look at how it's performing, look at is there been a degradation in performance, make sure the reliability is there so that you can administrate the resources with an idle and be able to look at those components really uh, from the beginning of the re-indexing process all the way through the analytic process, all from one admin screen. Um, and this helps you make sure that the performance is there, the reliability is there, uh, that your backups are being done appropriately under the SLAs that you're looking for, so that you can uh, tune idle and make sure that it is delivering against uh, the business applications that you might be generating with it. Okay, thanks, Jeff. And for more information on idle 10.6, please visit our website at www.autonomy.com.